probably the most challenging thing that I've ever done uh, as far as my poker career has been concerned. It really has felt like 14 days of non-stop battle against Labrados. Today is Tuesday, January 24th, and the AI is ahead by a bit over $700,000 in chips. This is a very large lead, but we are definitely not popping any champagne yet because the humans are very crafty and every day is a new day. The AI this year, Labratus, is quite a bit better than a Claudico in 2015. It made some pretty large mistakes at times. You don't see that with Labratus. It's much more calculated and much more tough. You really have to pry every chip you can out of Labratus' hands and you have to do it with skill, not counting on his mistake. The most surprising thing is its ability to adjust, its ability to just learn every day and get better. It's been taxing on us to, to try to find weaknesses, especially after it just seems to be able to adjust to us and fix them. You don't often see play like Labratus where it's like 250%, 500%, all in for like 2,000 in the middle, Labratus is all in for 19,000. You know, Labratus has kind of worked out a good strategy there and it's, it's very tough to play against. Because Labratus is the work of millions of core hours on a supercomputer, playing trillions of hands of the game of poker, analyzing itself, it figured out the perfect way to do that. I think it's a really good step for, for, for AI in general if it beats us, right? I mean, this is, this is an incredibly difficult game to solve. I think that's a pretty good step in, in the direction of artificial intelligence. For applications, it's very important because most real-world applications where you have multiple interacting parties are imperfect information games. Things like negotiation, bargaining, auctions, cybersecurity, and if we are able to show that the best AI has surpassed the quality of the best humans in strategic thinking under imperfect information. That would have tremendous implications. 